So let's look at how we can create this complex um, link using synchronous technology. Um, what I've done is I've started by just creating some sketches just to sort of get my um, distances and angles and, and sort of how long um, these components need to be. Um, also one here as well which shows me how far off I need to go on that aspect. Um, so if we start in a new part file and um, we start with a circle and I'll rock to this plane here with the F3 key and control H to um, set up that position. Um, I want this circle to be one and a half mil diameter and I want to be in line with this axis here so if I move over it and then drag off to the side that's going to hold that position um, I can put a dimension on here um, to lock this so that just locks that in place and then I can also click on here and then click on that um, center of the coordinate system and place a dimension down here this needs to be 3.75 and unlock to that plane and then we need to hit escape click on the region so the closed region gives us something to extrude or revolve or whatever if i hold on to this cent central knob here i can reposition it um, about that axis there that gives me the ability to do a rotation by clicking on the torus and I just rotate it around 120 degrees so I type that in and then you can see depending on which side I'm positioned um, I can place that so if I click and then um, we need to stretch this out a bit so if I come in here pick on this face if I just pull on here as it is it's going to continue that rotation um, so we can come up here and rather than extend we want to lift it so we want to lift off of that face and we want to go 3.89 millimeters so type that in hit enter and then we want to do a reverse angle so if I hold the shift key down we want to set the center of rotation on that axis so holding the shift key down allows me to do an offset of 3.75 enter and then if I click on that central knob again and hold the shift key down and clicking on this plane allows me to rotate it 90 degrees and um, you can see that we can now again do a lift and that needs to come around 30 degrees so we just type that in and hit enter so that's the first part um, if I hit escape and click up on that um, surface again uh, we again want to lift it and we want to come out by um, 2.38 millimeters and now we want to sweep round in this direction here um, so we want to lift and hold the shift key down, click on the arrow and this wants to be um, say um, 3.25 radius and then click on that torus, uh, on that knob again, click on the torus. Now you'll notice that if we go over that 180 it's going to um, switch to the other side so what we can do is we can do this in two steps um, we want to come around say 220 so we'll go halfway enter that in and then when we come back again we can still add in that other 110 to bring that back in to where we want escape click on the face again 
change it to left. And we want to bring this down. So if we click on our front face, um, we can see how far we want to bring it. Um, probably 6.5 is enough. And escape. And that's half of that link created. So now if we um, hide our BMI, hide our base references for the moment, do a fence selection and turn on the base reference planes again. Um, we want to come up here and do a mirror and we want to mirror about this plane here and escape and that's created our link for us.